Hi guys, another Grandad's Junk Pile project. I've got a request from Madeleine Gomez. She needs a rubber band powered car that will carry one pound. It uses a size 64 rubber band and it's the distance that's important, not the speed. Well, I used this old car the other day to shoot a catapult at, I think it was 5 metres or something. Well, I'm going to use the same car chassis again. I've taken the catapult off it already. And just put a weight on it, a pound weight, and see how far it will go with a size 64 rubber band. Now, slight problem with size 64 rubber bands, I don't have any. Size 64 is, I think it's three and a half inches long, quarter of an inch wide, and I can't remember how thick it is, sixteenth of an inch or something like that. And none of the ones that I've got are exactly that size. They all seem to be odd sizes. Now rather than use a bigger one, I'll try this, this one here. Ruler. Hang on. Ruler. That one's about three inches long, I think. And it's a bit too thin as well. That's only about three sixteenths of an inch wide instead of a quarter of an inch. But we'll see how far we can go with that. It's only the principle of going with a pound weight on it. So if we can get it to go with that a reasonable distance with a pound weight on it, then we've got some idea of what we could do with the right sort of rubber band. The car, I am going to make a slight change to it. The existing axle is a very thin barbecue skewer. And I've got this cane off of a garden ornament. One of those things wooden windmill. It's the stake that goes in the ground. So that's about that's about three sixteenths of an inch uh, diameter. But I'll just use that because that's a bit stronger than that one because that one does bend quite easily when you start winding up the rubber band on it. Quick close up of what we've got. We've got a piece of cane going across the chassis here. I've put the rubber band over. Then I've got some nylon or terrolene cotton here that I've tied to the rubber band. Just put a loop through it. And then that will come back here. I've got a loop on the other end of it. And on the back axle. I've just put some hot glue around the axle to give us a little lump sticking up. And that I can put the loop over. Not very easy with one hand. <laughs> Let's try that again. That just goes over there. That just holds it in place long enough for you to wrap it round. Definitely not easy with one hand. But once it's over the top of itself, it holds itself in place. And you can continue to wind it up. And the idea is it's got to come off. When it gets to the end of the rubber band, you need it to come off the back axle so that the car can freewheel to go as far as possible, because the object of this exercise is distance. The next thing we need is a pound weight. I've got a tin of beans here. That's one point, well, one pound and half an ounce. So just over a pound in weight, so that'll be ideal.
I've no idea what sort of distance we're aiming for so we'll just give it a normal run in the kitchen I've got some sticky blue tack here just to hold the tin in place first Start it on the red line and see how far we go. Well, that did okay. So, working backwards from there. the red line we started from. Yeah, 7 meters 20. We did there. And it would have gone much further quite easily. We're outside my front door at the moment. That says 12 meters 20. But obviously the front of the car will be about here or something somewhere. We'll call that 11 meters 80. And we'll see if we can get it to go straight enough to go all the way through. We'll go for it then. <laughs> it's going to hit that If it hadn't hit that, we'd have done 11 meters 80, wouldn't it? And that was pretty straight as well. I don't normally get them to run as straight as that, so that's quite pleasing. So just short of 12 meters, that's as far as I can go in my house. Nearly forgot to do the summary. So. Object of the exercise, carry a one pound weight for as far as possible using a size 64 rubber band. That rubber band is not a size 64, it's significantly smaller and we did about 12 meters with it, just short. The car itself is one I use for all sorts of tests originally based on my rubber band powered car number one so there'll be some links in the video description if you want to try and make one the same the chassis itself is made from plastic conduit which is thin plastic tubing that electricians use to put power cables um, into houses the wheels are CDs uh, plastic bottle tops for the hubs and barbecue skewers or wooden canes for the axles and this one actually has uh, their ball pen tubes as the cross members and there's another bit of cane there going across and a bit of wood going across that's all left over from other projects this thing we don't use either in rubber band powered car number one we use that because the rubber band starts at that end, goes round over that as a pulley and back to the back axle. So you get twice as much rubber band on it as you would normally get in the same size car. That's it. Job done.